After you have reached your hunting destination, you will want to clip the iPod onto the iScope and turn on the device. And you're going to want to look for the app, hopefully you've already previously downloaded. Today we're going to use the Video Zoom 2 app. We'll just click on that. And now you can zoom in to get a good sight picture. And if you tap on the screen, it'll sharpen the image. Now you can simply press the square home button. And it takes about a little over one minute before the device goes to sleep. And after it goes to sleep, uh, you don't have to worry about your battery draining. You can sit there and watch and wait for game to show up. And when you see game, you just simply touch the square home button and sweep your finger and tap the same app you used before. And all your settings are as they were. So now you're ready to shoot. You can tap the screen to sharpen the image. And you can tap the record button to record your shot. After you've made the shot, all you have to do is simply touch the record button again and now it's saved. And this way you can hunt all day and not have to worry about your battery draining. If you are using a high powered rifle or a shotgun, you might want to use an elastic or two to hold your device in place so when your firearm recoils, it does not kick it out of the holder. If you have difficulty navigating the screen on your iPod with your finger, you might want to try using the stylus. It tends to be more accurate and more responsive.